beautiful people, we are back for another episode of Maya's World. And I am all up in my living room floor. My bucket list items, if you guys watched my previous video a month ago, I listed the four bucket list items I was gonna attempt to do over the next four weeks. And the first one was learning to speak a different language, which is Tagalog. The second one, singing. Uh, third was traveling to Africa. I've never been, and that has always been a bucket list item of mine. And the fourth one, swimming with sharks. I documented my bucket list item experiences on Dairy. The app is more blog, journal inspired, and you write about your experiences. And you guys can find out all about that in the description box below. So let's get into these adventures now, shall we? First up, learning a different language. I'm learning exactly through like audiblebooks.com. And I practice in the car or in the plane. And I don't really film it when I'm practicing because I'm focused on learning, but like his be sure you repeat aloud i'm showing you what i'm learning tanghali tanghali say good day magandang tanghali now he's going to ask can you understand here's how to say understand just listen nakakaintindi 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 you guys, learning a different language is never ending. That's nonstop. So this is just the beginning. Next up, singing. So I'm about to head into my first singing class, which is gonna be very interesting. First I was like, this is a breeze, whatever. And then I was like, wait a minute, what song am I gonna sing? And it can't be a character, funny, haha, girl. Uh, so with the help of my friend Josh, we picked At Last by Etta James. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna peel the layers, the onion layers to reveal the inner core of the shameless one. So I'm, I'm just gonna say, this is Bob, he's the man. He's gonna help me um, at least support my instrument. The other thing we're gonna talk about is feeling uh, the courage, trying to find the courage to be comfortable singing. Right. And we talked a little bit about that before, and uh, there's two ways to go. And we'll just get started technically, and then we'll let you psychologically yeah. <laughs> decide whether you're willing to reveal yourself, which is what singing is. <laughs> and that's the part that terrifies me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go, no, 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 no. And then take a breath and do the next scale. No, 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 no. Feel it up. No, 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 no. Everything right, but what you're not doing is you're not listening to the piano. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you did. If you were a guitar, you would just be <laughs> turning, you just tighten the string a little bit so right. it would go up. How, have you done a lot of singing? No. Do you know a song? Um, I was practicing at last. At last, my love has come along. Has come along. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. See, well, I'm just going to give you a performance note that's, that's important yeah. to know. And that is, uh, unless it's something good, uh -huh. you are not obligated to let us know all the crap that's going on in your head. <laughs> okay. You know, the secret of being good at anything mm -hmm. is discipline and consistency. So the way you get good at something is decide, I want to be good at this, and you do it every day. Right. Okay, so... Just left class with Bob Croft, so good. It really boils down to technique and breathing and all that stuff, but the bigger issue is this voice in here. And even if I am off, even if I do make a mistake, own it, just own it and don't apologize for it. Um, and I know that for the most part in my life, but um, yeah. That was a successful first class. Um, I'll be doing another sessions when I get back from the holidays. Do you want chips, Tiffany? Yes. Gas station life, and I'm getting sour patch. 
just pumping gas at the gas station. Woohoo! Um, because we're driving down to San Diego to swim with sharks first thing in the morning. Because that's what you do on a Wednesday. Swim with sharks. It's ready for sharks. So ready. It's ready. I've as heard one could ever be. <laughs> <laughs> we're swimming with sharks. And we watch. Have you told the new shark what's going on? What you're supposed to do today? You have to push them by the nose. Just push them away when they <laughs> when they come at you. Don't be fitting around in the water. <laughs> Just a slight push. A push. A redirect is what they say. I love tap. I love, I love tap. tap. Who's gonna Not touch today. a shark? <laughs> That's the boat. That's Shannon. <laughs> Hi. My name is Mark. Maya. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mark. Yeah. Mark. Okay. Yeah, Mark's coming. Maya! Hey, Maya Nick. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on. Okay. Yeah, in case the boat were to sink, we have an emergency positioning device and uh, it gets deployed as the boat sinks and the satellite signal goes out, Coast Guard will come pick us up. Justin Bieber, sorry. <laughs> you go into mile. This right here is a chumpsicle. Chumpsicle. Oh, it's Chopped up sardines, Hold mackerel, on. market squid. There's holes in the bucket. Let me see. So as this defrosts, it's going to come out the holes in the bucket, flakes out, kind of like uh, breadcrumbs for Hansel and Gretel. And uh, the sharks will come, they'll be sniffing the buckets. That's when we get in the water and have a blast. We waited and waited and waited. There was a lot of seasickness involved. Go. Poor Jessica wasn't feeling well at all. We waited for hours for these damn sharks to show up. Y'all are late. And we've been waiting all day. So we're just gonna go inside. We're gonna go in. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Just get I wanna go in. Board. After all this waiting, we decided to just get into the ocean. Hopefully they would show up with moving bodies swimming around. Now this ish was so terrifying, you guys. We're swimming around in open ocean with wild sharks that could show up at any moment. There is bait. So my face was frantically looking around to see if I could see a shark because the first thing that we learned with sharks is you have to pay attention to them and not run away from them. <laughs> it took us a while to even get used to breathing. After about four hours of waiting, we had to make the call. They just didn't decide to show up, which is the reality of going shark diving. You have zero control of the wilderness. I am gonna go back to SD Expeditions and give it one more again because I really wanna see sharks. And it was such a fun experience. They have some amazing footage. Go check out their YouTube channel. Um, we did not see a shark. You conquered your fear! But I did want to see a shark! <laughs> That's important. <laughs> yeah. Because towards the end we're like, oh, where are they? But I couldn't breathe in the first... Maya put the mask on and she was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> on land. <laughs> what about you? You were freaking out. No? I did freak out. She, sure. she was the last one in. I was the last one in and I wasn't going to go in. It was pure peer pressure. But was you it? looked so comfortable. Maya got her hair wet. You yeah. got your hair wet, Tiffany. Yeah. That was shocking. Absolutely. Shock That's why it's covered right now. How do you feel, Jessica? <laughs> Jessica threw up twice. Yay! Yay! I was just like, oh. Sorry. Uh, gross. Don't apologize. Oh. Maya, what did you I learn? I learned that don't swim away from a shark don't mm -hmm. let it bump you with its nose mm -hmm. then if it's bumped you you're already it's a bitch y yeah you're its bitch if it comes towards you you're supposed to gently push its nose away what did you learn about facing your fears though did you know that knowing yeah it's the fear of the unknown because i honestly just thought sharks were just pieces of shit <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys learn today <laughs> You guys are awesome. That's what we learned. Yay! Yay! And they know how to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Loki, we also learned that um, our instructor has a fire body. <laughs> then I left the shores of Los Angeles and headed out to West Africa. You guys, you guys, you have no idea how long this has been on my list, my bucket list forever. Now, I was so fortunate to have been flown out there with Alafia, which is a fair trade company, and they sell their products in Whole Foods. I traveled with Hey Fran Hey, Jewel Z, Gangstar Girl. This was a life changing experience. We started the Alafia journey in Ghana. <laughs> 
Hey, Fred Hayes, with all that hair. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna go to the market. No, cash first, market. Then, what else? We're eight hours ahead. We're eight hours, at, well, eight hours ahead of LA, five hours ahead of New York, Toronto. Say hi, Julesy. <laughs> Okay, so we're here and I got all this fabric. I'll show you. We're about to take a group photo. Oh, I need that's, flash. That's Trudy. One. She's the one who's organizing. That's Francesca. Got it. Thank you. And this is the Kente cloth. It's so pretty, but it's so it's not expensive, it's just out of my budget. I got this. How many yards? Tastemaker Africa, if you're gonna do to Africa, do it right. <laughs> Me first. Let's go. So you play after me, okay? You get set, you play after me, you ready? Me first. Let's go. You wasn't ready. <laughs> West Africa to be specific. There is so much in that video, that experience rather, that I have to break that up and I'm gonna make a standalone video for that. So read the description box or click the I button to see a video specifically on that experience. Check out the app, the description box. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to do you, be you, and stay true. Be shameless. Live your life. Seriously, live your life. You only have one life to live, so make it count. Be shameless, be fearless, be bold.